Hi everyone, Tao here. All right, so these are the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, which are Samsung's follow-up to the Buds Pro that they originally released in 2021. If I asked you which one of these look like the more expensive product, which one would you pick? Like seriously, which one looks like the more premium product? I'm curious to see what you all think. Personally, I think the originals look more expensive. Now, I totally get that the flashier, more in-your-face design might not appeal to everyone, but you can't deny it made these stand out. It's not that I think the Buzz 2 Pro looks bad or anything. I'm all for a minimalistic design, but they just look a little too plain to me, especially for the $230 price tag, which is $30 more than the originals, by the way. Plus, if you opt for the white ones like I have here, it's hard to deny that they have a very Apple-like aesthetics to them. Anyways, as someone who really enjoyed the original Pros, I was super curious to see what sort of improvements Samsung could bring this time around. One of the most common problems with the Buds Pro was that they were uncomfortable. And from my personal experience, whenever I smiled or yawned, they would slowly slide out of my ear and eventually fall out. If you're someone who's more active, sweat only made the problem worse. The Buds 2 Pro are a nice improvement in terms of comfort. I mean, they aren't as secure as earbuds with wingtips in them, but the 50% reduction in size definitely helps them stay in my ears much better. For the first few days, I didn't realize that I was actually wearing them wrong. Normally with Galaxy Buds, you pop them in and then do a bit of a twist to lock them in place. With the Buds 2 Pro, just make sure that the vent is facing upwards and then slide them right into your ears. That's it. They sort of rely on the silicone tips to stay in place. Wearing these for an hour or two, I found them to be perfectly comfortable, but any longer and my ears start to get sore because they do sit pretty deep. The Buds Live from 2020, the one with the bean-shaped design, are probably still my top pick for all day comfort. When it comes to sound, I remember when I first heard the original Buds Pro, I was blown away by them. I wish I could say the new ones are flat out better, but that hasn't been my experience. The Buds 2 Pro definitely sound better in some situations, but I actually found myself preferring the sound of the originals in lots of scenarios too. So for example, I'm a bit of a hip hop head, especially when I'm working out. And for that, I think the Buds 2 Pro are way better thanks to a little more emphasis on bass. That extra bass just makes it so much more fun to listen to hard-hitting tracks. I also love listening to music from artists like JoJo, Tori Kelly, Maxwell for their amazing vocals. And for that type of music, I actually prefer the more balanced tuning of the originals. I just think it does a better job showcasing their voices. If I had to rate them, I'd give the originals a 9 and the new ones a 9.1. Slight edge to the new pros because they have a slightly wider soundstage and I dig the added bass. Another thing to consider is that these sound best when paired with a Galaxy phone because it uses a Kodak that's only available on Samsung devices. That's the only way you're gonna get the 24-bit audio that these are capable of. These also offer 360 audio with head tracking, but 360 content isn't quite mainstream enough yet for me to consider it a big selling point. As usual, Samsung doesn't give you a true equalizer in the app like some other high-end earbuds, but they do offer five presets that lets you tweak the sound profile slightly. If you're pairing it with a Galaxy phone, you could also use the custom equalizer in the phone setting for a little more control. The biggest improvement is probably the active noise cancellation. While walking outside with these, they do a much better job muffling cars and other street sounds. It doesn't do much with high-pitched tones, but for earbuds, I've been really impressed. The ambient mode, which pumps sounds from your environment to help keep you aware of your surroundings, also sounds a little more natural this time around. Those are two nice quality of life improvements that I really appreciate. You can toggle through both these modes with touch controls on the earbuds using the widget on your phone or if you own a Galaxy Watch via the Buzz Controller app. Voice Detect is one of the cooler pro features that separates these from other Samsung earbuds. Basically, when it detects your voice, the earbuds will automatically turn on ambi mode and lower your music to make having conversations with others a little easier. This is one of those convenience features that you'll absolutely love if you're constantly interacting with people throughout the day, or you'll absolutely hate it. 
If you like to sing along to your music, because every time you do, it kicks in and totally kills the mood. Thankfully, if that's you, you can turn it off. One of the new additions of this year is the neck stretch reminders. Basically, if you spend a lot of time working at your desk or looking at your phone, it can cause strain in your back and neck. The earbuds can actually detect your head position and notify you when you've been looking down for longer than 10 minutes, encouraging you to do a neck stretch. I gotta give props to Samsung. I'm big on ergonomics, so this is a nice little feature that you might not appreciate now, but will 10 years down the road. Also, if you're getting a lot of these reminders throughout your day, it might be a good idea to rethink your desk setup and work habits. Multi-point connection is one of those features I always look for when shopping for wireless earbuds. It basically lets you connect to two devices like a phone or a laptop at the exact same time and prioritize connections based on what's most important. A call on your phone would get priority over a video on your laptop, for example. Unfortunately, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro doesn't support multi-point connection, but instead, Samsung has their own version of it that only works with their devices, called Seamless Connection. Basically, the Buds 2 Pro can switch automatically between a Galaxy tablet, phone, laptop, and smartwatch, depending on whatever you happen to be using at that moment. The watch is very hit or miss, but swapping between the tablet and phone has been pretty good for my testing. Basically, the lack of multi-point makes these earbuds a little less convenient if you aren't living in Samsung's ecosystem. The touch controls are typical for Samsung earbuds. You can turn off certain controls if you don't use them or always trigger them by accident. I personally have the single tab toggled off since it pauses my music every single time I go to readjust the earbuds in my ears. Pro tip, if you're a first time Galaxy Buds owner, in the labs menu, be sure to turn on double tap earbud edge. Now you can just double tap the back of your ear like this to adjust volume the right side for volume up and the left side for volume down. That's pretty cool, no? Quick side point, the ergonomics on the buds themselves is something I'd like Samsung to address in their next model. I know there's only so much you can do with them, but there's nowhere to grab them with this completely round shape. I end up dropping them a lot more than I'd like. The stem design that Apple has with their AirPods isn't the most attractive thing, but it just makes putting them on and taking them off so much easier. Okay, so right now you're listening to the mics on the Buzz 2 Pro. While you check out the sound quality compared to the originals, let's break down the better life real quick. You're looking at around 5 hours of playtime on the earbuds and another 13 hours in the case for a total of 18 hours. If you turn off A and C, you can stretch that to 8 hours on the earbuds and another 20 hours on the earbuds for a total of 28 hours. Say hi, Red! Okay, she's sleeping right now. But yeah, that's identical to the Buds Pro. So if you're hoping for the improvement to the better life, sorry, that's not the case here. The bottom line is the Buds 2 Pro aren't a massive jump, but they address the biggest issue a lot of people had with the originals, the fit. Everything else, including better noise cancellation, a newer Bluetooth version, and a slight improvement to the sound, probably isn't enough to justify an upgrade if you were fine with the fit of the older ones. At the end of the day, when it comes to wireless earbuds, you really don't need to spend this much money to get a solid pair for daily use anymore. I mean, there's so many options for less money. However, if you're already using a Samsung phone, the Buzz 2 Pro are likely the best pair of true wireless earbuds you can buy. If you don't own a Samsung phone, at this price, you could probably do better. Or at the very least, wait for the price to drop. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.